So hello, good afternoon, good morning, good evening, my fellow creative designers and content creators. Welcome once again to another exciting episode on this channel. And today's episode, we are going to design this beautiful church flyer. I call it Holy Spirit Extension in Photoshop 20. I'm currently using Photoshop 2023. So any other versions from 2021, 2020, 2021, 22, 23, and 24, you are good to go. Even Photoshop CC, you are good to go. You'll be able to do a lot of the things I'll be doing here. And please, if this is your first time coming across this channel, please stick around and let's walk through the tutorials one after the other. Please subscribe to my channel, like, share, comment so that YouTube can forward or push this, this channel to a lot of people who wants to learn graphic design. So without wasting much time, control N to open a new document and I'm going to use a size 2000 by 2000 and I have all the resources here. I've typed them in order not to waste time. So I'll just copy the heading, control C and then come and paste it here and then boom. Then everything is okay. So I'll click on okay. And then I have a nice interface like this. So first of all, we are going to work with the background. So I have my resources here. First of all, I'll drag this, drag this into Photoshop and then wait for it to load. Okay, so it's downloading and I'll click on OK here to check it and make sure it fits into the screen. Okay, so I'll scale it up here, guys. You know how to scale things already. So hold again and scale this side to hit this side and scale here to hit this side and then come and scale it again and then it fits the screen nicely like this. This is awesome. This is awesome. This is awesome. Okay, so we are going to go to this effects and go and pick gradient overlay and then we have set our gradient already to this color to this color yes to this color and then no 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 let's go it again pick it this way and pick it this side go here and then set it to reverse awesome awesome and go to the blending options and see which one will suit what you want guys go to the blending options and i think this is okay for me yeah this is okay for me okay so we set it to pin light and we go to this side click b on the keyboard and then let's clear some parts away like this it's too much it's too much it's too much the clearing is too much so let me go to this side and let's set it to maybe 50 and then flow to let's say 50 and then let's see yeah we just want to blur some parts but not too much yeah not too much like that and this is awesome this is awesome being on the keyboard and then the next thing you are going to do is still import backgrounds 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 so drag this and drop it in photoshop and then push it to this side guys push it to this side press enter and then go to the blending options and i think this will be awesome or let's go and see let's go and see let's go and see. guys always test the blending options we don't design just like that we go through a lot we sometimes we practice it more than a day and it becomes perfect before we run a tutorials on it so please that is why we always say that you are at least the only thing you can do for us is just to subscribe to this channel like and share so that we can grow the channel together so this is okay click here and then be on the keyboard to activate the brush tool now let's turn here to 100 and then flow to 200 and then we can clear this part away and clear this part away let's tilt it this way yeah let's tilt it this way let's tilt it this way and then again let's clear here then duplicate it ctrl j to duplicate it ctrl t and then flip it this way and then push it to the side guys push it to the side guys please subscribe to this channel like and share subscribe like and share and comment again all right i think this thing we have to change it to screen yes so let's turn this side to also to screen perfectly like this and then we're having the lights being reflected let's go here and then pick b on the keyboard sorry hit here again b on the keyboard and then go to this side too and then clear this side just to fade that side and make sure everything is okay so now and i think 
the background is getting set. No, the background is not set yet. We have some Ghana flags. So we drag this picture inside and then we tilt it this way. Then push it to this side. Yeah, push it to this side. And then go to the blending options. And I think this one was awesome. Or oh, let's go through and see. Let's go through and see. Let's go through and see. And I'm sure we will surely pick this. We will surely pick this. We will surely pick this. Then add layer marks and then let's clear some parts away let's clear some part away Control j to duplicate it and then flip it this way flip it this way and push it to this side and then it blends inside nicely like that then we are not done yet let's add some um another thing sorry 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 you are supposed to add a gradient a gradient a gradient good then push it this way push it this way and uh, I think it's awesome and let's check blending option and see blending option which one which one which one and I think this is okay this is okay subtract but let's go through let's test them guys always test them before you conclude on one always test them because you might choose the first one and then later you realize that no the one you chose was not okay so let's test them let's test them again we are testing them and i think we will conclude on this so this is awesome now this is awesome now so now the background is set the background is set so all this and this in a group control g to call it sorry control g to put it in a group and let's deselect it and then you come and select everything control g and then call it bg bg that is the background so everything this becomes the background. Then we are going to work with text. Yes, we are going to work with text. Remember, I typed all the text here. So drag this Ctrl C to copy it T on the keyboard. If it's not showing you, just hit T here to activate the text to hit here and then Ctrl V to paste it. And we are going to change it to all caps. And we are going to change the font as well. We are going to change the font as. Okay, so the font, we are going to change it and we choose Montserrat, but rather we are going to choose and uh, semi bold or okay semi bold too is too much let's pick medium and see awesome medium is okay and let's reduce it to maybe 20 and see good let's close the leading let's close it up let's close it up let's close it up guys close it up close it up close it up and then close here to to something like 10 let's see and oh no no 10 to is too small so let's see 13 good 13 is okay so meaning let's close here up again let's close here up again and this is awesome so we push it at the center like this guys we are supposed to bring your our guys so go to view go to guides and then new guy layout and then yes you know how we do it already you know how we do it already you know how we do it already so let's go and pick the national cathedral logo this is the national cathedral of ghana so i'll pick b on the keyboard and then remove the background delete it like this awesome ctrl d to deselect it and then pick this and come and cut this side away come and cut this side away ctrl j to duplicate that side and delete the one beneath and then you have this awesome like this reduce the size a bit and push it up nicely like this and then we are going to draw a beautiful rectangle ha 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 oh la la a beautiful rectangle beneath it and then the color is going to be white color white pick color white because it's a multi-color um, 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 logo that is why we are picking color white to make sure that it shows clearly to make sure it shows clearly so now it shows clearly and let's push this things away a bit a bit a bit a bit a bit and let's see here and close it a bit and i think this is awesome this is awesome this is awesome so this and this control j and call it logo good and then we center it guys that is why we brought our guys that's why we brought our guys so our logo is set now let's work with the rest of the details control c to copy it t on the keyboard hit here boom and paste 
you know how we do it already you know how we do it already so just keep doing keep doing keep doing keep doing and this is a font you are going to use then change here to small and then boom ctrl t and scale it up a bit push it at the center that is why we brought our guys so yes just do it as such and then come and copy the holy spirit drag this there so double click it and then control v to paste it and we are going to use this font let's see let's see let's see we are going to use this font we are going to use this font and i'm sure it's gonna be okay yes yeah yeah we are going to use it's called a gallons font the book play, uh, click it like this scale it up and make sure it doesn't extend to this side and this side that is why we brought our guys that's why we brought our guys and then go to this side and then double click this side ctrl c to copy it and then come and drag this here come and drag this here double click inside and control v to paste it and we are going to change that font to let's say and i think we are going to use this and change it to all caps and c uh 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 bold and let's see let's see let's see let's see i know i'm not sure this will work for us so let's go through and see let's check anton font good anton font is working perfectly close here and then scale it up to fit this side scale it up to fit this side scale it up to fit this side just push it this way and i think it's awesome guys or what do you think i always say i think i think i think and you too what do you think you also think it's awesome like that if it's not awesome can you let me know in the comment section below yeah below 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 and i think we need to drag this inside the logo just to make sure that all those sides becomes one this and that control j and i put it in a group and we are going to give it this and we'll clip create clipping mask to it push it to the side that is the side we want right click it and then create clipping mask and now you have something like this let's see scale it down just to have that nice feel inside yeah just to have now go to filter blur and then gaussian blur and blur it no it's too much it's too much let's see then will be okay good 10 is awesome now 10 is awesome now then go this and this and call it holy spirit holy spirit da, 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 da. it's okay just just to make sure that this is it now they left with the theme let's go to the side control c sorry but control c to copy a t on the keyboard come and hit here control v to paste it and now we are going to pick a text called akira extension yeah we are going to pick akira extension font and then drag it to this side go and pick the whole theme like this ctrl c to copy it drag this side drag it that is the same as a duplicate ctrl v to paste it and good 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 i think the theme must come to this side and then yeah the team has come to this side and then let's see here let's open up here let's open up here let's open up here good 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 so the team we are going to change the color for the theme pick something like this awesome 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 okay so that side is set and let's go and give it this hex code i'll just copy it and then come and paste it here and f e e six eight six f e e six eight six that is it and then let's change the color of the theme to that to white yeah and i'm sure that is exactly what we did that is exactly what we did we pick a rectangle to and then draw a beautiful rectangle nicely like this beautiful rectangle nicely like this and give it that color yeah give it that color yeah that is the color from the main election 2024 detail detail details yeah that is it and then go and pick this hit here and uh, hit here 
Uh, let's see, is it at the center? Good. So right click it and then rasterize type and press delete. Yeah, just to cut it away. And then let's push it to this side. Control D to deselect it and push it to this side. And this is awesome. And then we are going to pick the, the this side. Control C to copy it. And then drag this to this. No, 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 no. Drag this to this side. Double click inside. Control V to paste it. And then change it to color white. Yeah, change it to color white. Change it to color white. Yeah. Change it to color white. And let's see if we can. Is it at the center? No. So let's push it at the center like this. And this one, Control T, is it at the center? No. Then let's position it at the center. Good, 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 good. So this and the main theme. Is it also at the center? Good. It's at the center. Good. Nicely. 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 So it means this and uh, this. Control G and call it theme. Good. So this all becomes our theme. And then we are going to introduce the man of God. Guys, the images are here. I have removed all the background. And if you don't know how to remove background in uh, remove image background in Photoshop, I'll do a Photoshop quick tips and tricks on it and then just get you the tutorial. So I'm just going to not to waste time. I'm just going to pick the images from the other side. Okay, but before we do the images, let's work on our date and time. Yes, let's work on our date and time. So this, just copy this one, control C to duplicate, hit here, T on the keyboard, push here, control V to paste it. And then this is it. Good, good, good. Do a rectangle to drag it this way. And then give it this color. Awesome, 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 awesome. And come and pick August 2024. T on the keyboard, hit here, control V to paste it. And then give it color black. Yeah, color black. Just to differentiate it from the rest and then we are going to push it on top of this yes we are going to push it on top hit here and then center and align center and align good 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 meaning we need to increase the text size to something like 15 is awesome 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 good 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 so let's push it up 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 and this is okay this is okay it's okay so let's put it in a group let's put it in a group control j to put it in a group and call it date yeah it's date and then let's go and work with time this control c to copy it t on the keyboard hit here control v to paste it and then let's give it um this color this color this color this color yeah I think it's awesome now. I think it's awesome. The date must be reduced a bit. The date must be reduced a bit and then push it up something like this. Push it up something like this. And and I'm sure this side will be okay. Just use your eye to adjust it like this. And that is it. That is it. That is it. That is it. I think we have a date icon. Oh no, I didn't bring it here. So just something like this. And then we just put the rest of the contact details or the location yeah the location control c to copy it and then drag the side drag the side or duplicate it control v to paste it and then let's hit here let's hit here and then let's hit here good control t and reduce the size this becomes our location meaning most of the details must go up most of the details must go up so this and this have to go up a bit yes have to go up a bit and then the date uh, sorry time to has to go up a bit and then this two must go up a bit must go no 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 must go up we didn't say we increase the size must go up a bit and that is awesome and that is awesome that is awesome that is awesome that's awesome then we are going to work with the image so this and this in a group okay so this control j to put this one in a group and call it time 
Good. And then this becomes the location. Location. Awesome. And then we are going to work with the image. For the purpose of tutorials, I'm just going to copy the image directly and then place it here because we don't want to waste enough time. Yes, guys, you don't want to waste enough time. So these are, where are you, 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 where are the images, the names and images, where are you, where are you, where are you. So this is it, this is it. I'll just control J to duplicate it, right click it and then convert to smart object like this nicely and then pick it and push it sorry 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 where are you where are you where are you where are you okay so i've imported the image so the image is now successfully let's scale it up a bit yeah we scale it up a bit just to fit that side and i think this is okay so all this include the images and their names so put it in a group Control J and call it names and images or images and uh, names. Names. Good. That is it. 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 And guys, I think this is all. This is all. This is all about the design. This is all about the design. This is all about the design. And guys, and let's see. Let's see. Let's do something different. So go to this side and then let's see color lockup and then let's try a color lockup and see. Let's try a color lockup and see. Let's try a color lockup and uh, see. All right, so color lockup is set and then go to blending option and test which one will be okay for you. Test which one will be okay for you. Guys, test which one will be okay for you. Let's keep testing, let's keep testing. Definitely we'll get one which will suit what you want. And I think this is okay, soft light, but let's go through. This is also serious but it's changing the image and i think i like it that way i like it that way let's see let's go through them 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 then you have to come back and come and pick this side this and this so soft light and overlay which one do you think and i think i'll go for overlay oh yeah i'll go for soft light yeah i'll go for soft light and guys this is how we design this awesome church flyer in photoshop please subscribe to this channel like and share comment and let me know how this channel is helping you in any other ways i'll see you in the next tutorial i love you bye peace shalom